6. Okay. So you add them up. 72 and 3 will be 7, 5. And that's that. Okay. So let's go to our uh, Tosca and go to the module. And we just right click on it, scan application, and leaving it at the default. We don't need to use UIA. We're just going to use HTML. We're not going to use any UI either. It's going to use HTML. Scan. I think that I think I think Tricenter should come up with a obstacle course that makes you use uh, image based recognition, um, because you know the obstacle course gives you the impression it's it just works perfectly. There's a lot of times when Tosca doesn't recognize what you're actually dealing with. Okay, so as usual, there's what we're looking for, the 1 and the 50. I could select them, but I am a creature of habit. And Okay, what do you spot? What's the problem? Tell me. What's the problem? There you go, that's a good example, look at that. It's highlighting something that doesn't exist. Let's click advanced, click cancel. Didn't work. Why? Let me do a control zero, see what happens to the screen. That's what normal zoom looks like. So let's try that again. Scan diddly dan. Scan diddly dan. There we go, that's it there. Two and a half minutes in. So select on screen, condense that. Want that little one there? You want the A, Tosca rec recognizes it as text, and that one. Not the div, the actual thing that rec is recognized as text. And we want the result field as well. I don't see any yellow here. So let's just click on finish screen, module saved, go back to advanced and click on close. If I'm too quick, let me know in the comments. Um, now drag this into, actually, you know what, let's just do this, let's take all of that stuff there, paste it in there, okay, process, you don't want that repetition. That's the last one. So let's drag our little module in there into the process folder. Verify it should be last. And in here, um, how do we do this now? Let's see if we can just do a click on this stuff. See if it even recognize it. So do an F6. Alright. That that worked, okay. Let's refresh that. Let's see if that works again now. With different numbers. It's not going to. Hmm. It did recognize them. Okay. Let's clean that up. Let's go back here and call this one number one. Num two. Okay. And now we need to buffer, buffer both of these, we call it num1, num2, and um, let's just run that. It would be nice if it opened up the window. Buffer viewer, number one, number two, very good. 
Now we need to. I don't have Excel installed. It's a great piece of software, but I refuse to pay a subscription model for software. So we can't use Calc, where it just passes everything through to Excel. We can use Math. And um, that's how we call Math. Now we need to call two buffers. Um, phrase per per per. Num one. Um, what was it? Operand operator. Is it a comma? Plus, comma. Hang on, I'm not sure if that's right. I'll have to check this. Um, let me see. Where's the Where's the help file from math? Operand one, operator, operand two. Numerical values and scientific notations can be used as operands. You can find a list of the supported operators and mathematical functions here. Example, math buffer a plus one. Hey, okay, let's take um, let's take that out, and we just say brace square square brace plus brace. We need to do the buffer num one. Close the brace. Close the square bracket. Close the brace. God, it looks awful. Oh, that looks neat. Okay, cool. Um, enter the input. Let's give it a go. Run it. What the heck? That's wrong. Let's hit refresh on that. Run. Where the hell are we getting this stuff from? Two. Ah. Hey! How come none of you guys tell me? I was doing it wrong. Let's try it again. Hang on. Quick network. Why isn't this working? This is a little weird. It's gonna do a click on that. Make it go there first and then put the number in. Input the sum of the two randomly generated numbers into the sum field. Seventy nine. Seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine. Oh God! Why isn't it allowing me to do this? Yeah, I had a little break, by the way, in case you're wondering why it says eighty-eight minutes.
Input the sum of the two randomly generated numbers into the field. Copy. Pre. Test configuration. We're doing that today. So let's just give it a go. Why didn't it run? Okay, done. That is confused. Let's run her again. Buffer number one, buffer number two. We're clicking in there. And then we're saying math, do that. And then we're inputting that into the result field. Maybe just wait on it or something. Maybe make sure it's ready to go before we do anything with it. Maybe I have to send in each individual number. But that doesn't strike me as the actual the obstacle. Hmm. Alright guys, I'm going to have to think about this one. Back in a minute. Alright guys, I've had a look at this a little bit longer and I would genuinely love to know why this doesn't work. If anybody in support is looking at these videos, give me a holler.
Let me know what you think is going on. We'll try it together. Okay. That's it. Ciao.